Chinese Taipei uh, against Chen Yufei of China. Chen Yufei, who won the uh, battle in Tokyo 2020. Well, as far as the women's singles draw was concerned, we only started with seven seeds. We sadly lost Carolina Marin before the tournament got underway. By quarterfinals, we were down to four seeds, but six different flags. Two seeds only in semi-final stage, one in each half. But look at that, every single quarterfinal and both the semi-finals won in two straight games. We're guaranteed a new name on the women's singles trophy because neither of our finalists have won this India Open title before. Dr. Tai Su Ying, former world number one, one of the most delightful skill-wise players ever to grace a badminton court making her fourth appearance here at the India Open, but her first for eight years. Olympic silver medalist, world championship silver and bronze medalist, a gold at the Asian Games in Jakarta in 2018. And this today is a 51st final at Super Series Grand Prix Gold or World Tour level. Her opponent, the Olympic champion Chen Ufei, the number two seed here, uh, comes into today's final on the back of seven finals last year, having won four titles. This is only her second appearance at the India Open, as she was a quarter finalist last year and sadly couldn't compete in the quarter final uh, because she was unwell. Well, this, incredibly, will be a 27th meeting between these two players. And of the 26 previous, Tai Su Ying has uh, the advantage I got having a black won 18 and a red. of like them, you too. Uh, including red. the last. So, yeah. once again, we'll have a guess to the toss of the coin. That's a nice touch. Show it, please. Show it. So Tai Su Ying has won the toss you're, of the coin and has chosen to start the near Thank side you. of the court, which Steen and I believe is the more Thank difficult you. end for the singles players uh, because you're hitting with the drift and therefore it's difficult uh, to play to the back of the court and control the shuttle. Tai Su Ying is 29 years of age now, not the tallest of athletes as you can see. Uh, that equates to about five foot four. Currently number three because she went up on the world rankings uh, published earlier this week. Uh, but of course the seeding was done before this week and so she's only the number four seed. A staggering total of 214 weeks as world number one. Second final for Tai Su Ying in two weeks. She was beaten in the final of the Malaysia Super 1000 event by Ang Se Young. Looking at her matches, well, it's exemplary, isn't it? Uh, the beaten finalist from two years ago in the second round, Keiton, and then the beaten finalist uh, from five years ago, Her Bing Zhao, and the semi final against uh, Yao Jiamin of Singapore. Yao Jiamin is playing extremely well in the last two weeks. So to Chen Fei, who is the younger of the two at 25 years of age, from Hangzhou, the capital of Xinjiang province. Uh, she, of course, won the final in uh, Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, an hour and 21 minutes it was in that final. It was a wonderful match. Four World Championship medals, one silver and three bronze. And her list of achievements is also extensive. She, like her opponent, has won all of her matches in two straight games. Quarterfinal against Nozomi Okuhara, the former world champion. Lovely to see her back from injury problems. And the semi-final against her teammate, Ready to play. former Asia champion, Wen Chi So our umpire from 
New Zealand, Sydney Gallos, and the service judge, the Sharp from India. time these two played was in the semi-final last week and it was an extraordinary match Tai Sun Ying who came from 17 was 17 14 a down came back to win it ladies and gentlemen on my right Dai Su Ying, Chinese Taipei. I wouldn't argue with that, young sir. And on my left, Chen Yu Fei, China. Dai Su Ying to serve. Lavo, play. So Tai Su Ying getting the women's singles final underway. She's nearest to us as we look down on the court against the gold medalist from that Olympic One final. Love. Chen Fei of China. What a wonderful, delightful shot to start the match from Tai Su Ying. Well, Steve, if we had a final over. today that's half as good as One. the Olympic final oh. or indeed the semi-final last week in Kuala Lumpur, we're going to be in for a real treat. Yeah, and, and I think we are going to be in for a treat. Uh, both players uh, winning Two. all the matches in straight One. games and they seem to be in, in really good shape. Uh, did well in uh, Malaysia last week. semi-final yesterday against Yao Xiaomin of Singapore. I thought she was really enjoying these slightly slower playing conditions, slower playing conditions than last week. Yeah, uh, I think she might not enjoy it just as much today because uh, um, it also uh, benefits uh, Chen Fei with a little bit slower playing conditions. But um, I agree with you, and I've been uh, pleasantly surprised with oh. the level here in this one by Tai Su Ying because normally that's where she can struggle a little bit if the playing conditions get um, too slow. It's a very good start by Chen Fei. Final by the exact same scoreline. I wonder what the chances <laughs> of that one. 13 and 18, both of them. <laughs>
more left. Well, no doubt, two of the Indian fans so the are supporting. Two, seven. Yin. titles here at the year open over the years and that was women's doubles back in 2008 that was the first in the year open of the super series grand prix gold and world tour era and men's Five, doubles in 2019 seven. and if she keeps playing shots like that who knows talking earlier in the week weren't we Steen, about Chen Yifei and uh, Chinese success at this event in India Open only two previous players have won this title from China Li Shui in 2012 seven. and then 10 years ago Wang Shexian and uh, we were amusing about the fact that uh, both of those players were number two seeds when they won yeah and of course Chen Yifei is the number two seed Good pressure. And Seven. six straight points. Four. And that was needed uh, following the start. She had uh, time to yield where I felt that she perhaps wasn't going to spend too much energy on, on the first game here, but it seems like uh, she just needed to uh, calibrate her shots. Service over. Eight. Seven. Drop. Nice. Service over. Eight. Four. Service over. Nine. Eight. Oh, oh, what absolutely Seven delightful over. skill. Nine oh. Chen Fei doesn't often get sent wrong direction. And she was certainly moving in the wrong direction on that occasion. And super important for Ty because that shot is kept open. The uh, cross net block. on the uh, shot through the front court of Chen Fei. Look how short that is. And uh, that's bad news for the Chinese because if there is a little weakness, then it's perhaps that extra little step. And she has to take that to get to the uh, drop shots to Chen Fei. So it is Tai Su Yin who goes to the mid-game interval with a two-point advantage. Ten, eight of the last ten points. Seven minutes. Point is 
seconds. 20 seconds. Coach. Eleven, nine. Line. So play resumes. Eleven, nine, the advantage. And I hate to tell you this, Steve, but my maths is sadly off again because Tyson Ying has indeed won ten of the last twelve points. Yeah, she has. Oh, you could deception. So tough. And again. Yeah. And the half step is lacking. Tai yeah. Su Ying yeah. is pointing out that the light show oh. lights are still flashing. Yeah. The referee already. Yeah. yeah, got to switch those off. 12-9. That's a super shot. Yep. And he's still uh, flashing. Yep. 12, 9. Maybe the spotlights also go crazy when Taiji Ying plays a fantastic <laughs> shot. She was sent the wrong way again. Oh, and she's played it into the net. The lift was short. It was a golden opportunity for a winner. And I wonder if that error may just spark a, a little change in momentum. We saw yesterday when uh, Yu Jamin was playing the far side where Chen Fei is standing now, that she was putting more pressure on uh, Tai to take away her possibilities. landed in as well. I think there's a bit of sideways drift steam because of how you like Chen Fei as it left the racket thought that it was probably going wide. Yes, I think so too. We saw it in the first round here as well. And that means that it has changed a little bit compared to early on in the week where we've noticed that it might have changed several times because I can tell you behind us here you know, on the concourse there's windows that are uh, open so no wonder that there's some drift in uh, the arena. Good shot. Brilliant. Wow. Absolutely brilliant. Played with angle Ten. and pace. Mm. So sharp. First that little reverse slice, and then another one. And uh, I think Chino has got to react now. If she's got something to uh, challenge uh, Tai Zhu Ying with. Because uh, she's 14 3 down. Since she led 7 1. Seven one. so far that's a three oh that's worth the challenge yes, she's challenging ball out and i wonder if that caught the line with the sideways drift as we suspected from those earlier rallies is right to left as we look down on the court and that's probably just taken it wide Indeed he did. 
challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 11 15. Well, there's some big gulps of air being Blank. taken on board. After that rally by those players, longest rally so far, at 45 shots. in the case that after a very long grueling rally next rally he's very short that was perfect placement on the smash from Chen Ufei lunge out to her forehand side so it's over 12 16 Deep into the forehand corner of Chen Yufei. Seven was played to perfection. Wow. The deceptions have really uh, had effect on Chen Yufei. Interesting in that rally that Chen Fei obviously felt she needed to take a bit of an in initiative, but yeah. it's not her usual style. It's not her usual style, and it takes so extra over. energy to play a uh, initiative. And um, at the moment, it doesn't look like she's she's got an extra gear gear um, physically. It's going wide. So it's game point opportunities. Seven of them. One for Tai Su Ying, having been one for seven two. down at the start of this opening game. Extraordinary. That's a lovely clear. And that drifted in as well. Yeah. Definitely a little sideways to right to left. So it's over. 14, 20. This one started outside the line. Missed it. <laughs> 15, 20. 10. I do like the fact, Steen, that these two players have so much respect for each other and that virtually every time one asks for a shuffle to be changed, the other just obliges immediately. Yeah, it's nice. nice to see. Extraordinary things happen this week. Fault. Fault called on Jenny Fay. She hit the net and 
the opening game for the Tyson by 21 16. 16. Opening game. Badminton of the very highest quality. 18 minutes in duration. Seconds, twenty seconds. Second game, level play. So Tai Su Ying one game to the good against the player who beat her in the Olympic final, Chen Fei. Nice. Tai Su Ying was not going to get risk the chance, so one attempted kill bouncing off the racket of Chen Fei again. Placement. Yeah, and the, that's that's what's uh, hurting uh, Chen Yufei at Ready. the moment. The combination of uh, shot quality and pace. Service over. One, two. How did she play that? Brilliant. She's so fast forward to the net. She's got so Four. many options. One. And that little disguise shot across courts was an absolute beauty. After the smash, look how quickly she's forward to take the block. Yeah, she's being our plate at the moment, uh, Jennifer.
Oh, it's raining. Five. One. Yeah, I think that shot never started outside of the line. It was always in. And that, I think, is an indication of the state of mind of Chen Fei. Maybe internally in a little bit of panic mode. I think so, uh, because otherwise she would have reacted. Black. We've also seen here in the opening stages she's tried to play a little bit downwards and be more controlling, but um, looks Five, like she hasn't got it one. today. Uh, so the hope for her now is to uh, play long rallies. Uh, hope that eventually ties the level drops a little bit so uh, two five so she can come back chin and fake it was a late decision for try to play that one actually wanted to leave it oh she's quick forward again isn't she I, 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 it's a long time since I've seen Chen Fei being two. that much wrong footed in a match. There yeah, she's wrong again. Well, she's challenging this challenge. I don't think she'll win that. No. Uh, um, you. Let's wait for the instant review so to confirm for sure. Satisfaction with his play up. It's wide by a whisker. What a good job by the Lanja. One challenge remaining. Seven, two. Play. And Chen Chen. Looking very satisfied with his player at the moment. Yeah, that line judge is 2-0 uh, up against the players at the moment. Three, two. <laughs> from this angle. And it was the sideline in question. Yeah. Proceed at the moment. Oh, 
his block. Short. And our right winner on the drop shot. It was so accurate. Nine. Five. Uh, that Chen Fei simply didn't have the legs to reach it. Backhand net, two punch clears to the deep forehand corner, and then look at that wonderful drop. taking more initiative again that has really worked well for him but Chen Fei's got to try something different Five. and try it soon because quite frankly at the moment Chen Fei has been outclassed oh Oy. another perfect drop shot 11 five. from Tai Su Ying and Tai Su Yin goes for the mid-gaming vault with a six-point advantage, having already won the first. She is playing some brilliant badminton. 30 minutes into the match. Slice again. Oh, it does a good clear. It's gone wide. Service over. Six, eleven. Well, we know all too well, Steen, that Tai Su Ying can play sublime badminton like this and then can all of a sudden go on what we call a walkabout yes but we didn't see it one time last week in uh, malaysia and i haven't noticed it here as well no, that's so that, that's why i feel the tie is in really good shape at the moment it, it takes much more to uh, sort of uh, over. challenge her in terms so of uh, rally length the only, the only little um, period where it was it was actually when, when uh, Chin Fei got ahead 7-1 in the first game. Yeah, that's right. Oy. Oh. She's got no answers, uh, Chin Fei, at the moment. Perfect. She can only hope that uh, Thai's level drops. I'm talking about drops, those winners that she's played to both the uh, backhand, but especially Chen. the forehand of Chin Fei. I've seen so many players try it, and they're making uh, seven, eight mistakes for every ten shots they're attempting to win. That's not the case with Ty, and that's a testament to how good she is. He's going wide. 14, 6. Good 
Fletcher. Missed it. Service over. Seven, 14. Ten. One train. I saw both these uh, semi-finals yesterday, and so did you, Joe. I, I didn't spot the uh, difference in the pace between those two semi-finals. I should have done that. No, no, I didn't spot it either. No, you should have done it. Well, I did say to you that I thought that Tai Su Ying looked in her semi-final as if she was really enjoying yeah. these slower playing conditions because she's really so able to punch through with those 15, deceptive clears. Yeah, that's true, that's and, true. And then she's got the opportunity to play her lovely disguised downward shots. Okay. Wait. Okay. Over. Right. 15. No intercepts this, that mid court area. Turn of eight. Alert. Oh, that's lovely. Now that is what I've been looking for Nine, Chen Yufei to implement for some time. Take a bit of initiative. Instead of just being reactive, be proactive. Conclusion of this rally from uh, Chen Fei, so he's definitely not giving up on 10, this. 16. Trying to work her way into the match. I think that Tai Su Ying is going through a bad patch physically. Yeah. That was a tired looking shot to me. It's not to say she won't recover. And that 26 shot rally may have taken its toll momentarily anyway. Play. Okay. 
Paul. That's been so efficient at the uh, cross match. 17, 11. And of course, the other shot that looks like it is the disguised drop shot. It's super difficult for Chenefe to uh, both be ready for the drop shot and power the cross smash. Oh, it's landed in. Perfect high serve from Tai Su Ying. And three points away from the title. There's the drop shot you were just alluding to. Played 19, to perfection. 11. Tai Su Ying has given her opponent a masterclass so far today. Look how she plays the reverse slice to keep it inside the line. If she played the regular slice, there would have been a big risk it would have gone wide. Match point opportunities. For Tai Su Ying. India Open, one of the few titles she's never won in the past. She has nine opportunities to add the India Open to her long list of achievements. That's gone long. Service over. 12. One thing. And how Great. fitting that it was an outright winner from Tai Su Ying. That won the title here in Delhi. 21, 16, 21, 12 in a match lasting 41 minutes. And that steam was like match Tai Su Ying of old. Tai it was Ying. brilliant. It was. 21, it was. 16, 21, it was a continuation 12. of uh, the form from the World Tour Finals. I think we're in for a very exciting time with uh, Tai Su Ying here giving uh, one extra push for that elusive gold medal at the Olympics. Yes, well, she's popular all over the world. Queen Tai Su Ying, another banner saying that uh, they have traveled 800 kilometers to watch Tai Su Ying. And I think that was very special. Uh, performance that I think will send shockwaves across the women's singles discipline because that was Tai Su Ying back to her best. 21 16, 21 12 in 41 minutes. Tai Su Ying, winner of the India Open Super 750. This the final rally, the delightful disguise drop shot. Played with angle, played with precision. And when Tai Su Ying plays like this, well, she's the most athletically pleasing a player to watch, I think, in World Badminton. Uh, it's been uh, an exhibition this tournament from uh, Tai Su Ying here. We now welcome the medal winners to the victory podium for prize presentation ceremony. Please give it up for the women singles players joining us on to the victory podium. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and make some noise for our runners-up, Chen Ufei from China.
Chen Fei, who beat her opponent of today in the Olympic final, was outclassed today by an inspired Tai Su Yin. Yonex Sunrise India Open 2024 Women's Single Champion. Please make some noise for Tai Zhu Ying from Chinese Taipei. In her 51st Super Series Grand Prix Gold or World Tour Tournament Final. Tai Zhu Ying wins her 32nd title at one of those status of events but a first here in India. And that, I know, will please Tai Su Ying, who loves playing here. Ladies and gentlemen, we would now like to welcome Mr. Robin Hebu, IPS Special Commissioner of Delhi Police, to please join us to present the medals. Can I now request Mr. Robin Hebu to please present the Promentos. Can I now request Sir to please present the stool to our players. Can I now request, sir, to please present the bouquet to our players. Can I now request Mr. Wataru Hirokawa, Managing Director, Yonex Japan, to please join us to present the mock check. We will now request our dignitaries Thank you so much. Well, it was an imperious performance today by Tai Su Ying, reversing the results of the Olympic final. What a joy to watch Tai Su Ying when she's playing in such form. Well, next up, we have the women's doubles final, Cheng Shu Xian and Cheng Fu of China. Up against the two Thank you so much and stay champions. with us for the next Matsumoto exciting final. That is women's doubles.
Oh. Welcome back to finals day here at the Yonex Sunrise India Open, a 750 event on the HSBC BWF World Tour. Next up is the women's doubles uh, final, and Chen Xuxiang and Zhang Wu in their second final in two weeks are up against the two-time former world champions Matsumoto and Nagahara, who are trying